All right, I actually just had an idea. I'm going to connect the ground to the one side of this resistor, and then I'm going to connect my positive to the other side of the resistor. I'm going to power it back on long enough to get a measurement of the voltage drop across it while it's at that. I've lowered the voltage a little bit because I don't want it smoking, but I'm going to try and calculate the amps that we're getting, see if we can figure out what specifically, how much current is going through that, and, and that might give us an indication also of how much power is going through it so that we know uh, what may be going on there. So I'm going to give that a try. So I'm on voltage uh, in DC. Turn the Variag back on. We'll turn the power back on. We get a little bit of red light there, but let's measure. I get 223, 224, 224. All right, write that down. And that resistor, it seems like it was an 18. I will try and look at what that is on the schematic. Uh, come back to you in a second. All right, so uh, I did do the math. If it has a 224 volts at 18K, it is an 18K resistor on there, um, on the schematic, like I was guessing I remembered, that ends up being 0 0.0124 amps, or 12.4 milliamps, and 2.79 watts. And this is a 2-watt resistor, thus why it's smoking. Okay, so a little background here. We figured out, I was able to get help from the forums, figured out what was going on. Two things that were wrong. Uh, one was that this is supposed to be, you can see a very big resistor here now, this is a 25 watt resistor. Uh, simple Ohm's law, we were doing about 450 volts at max to a 18K resistor that requires about 11 watts, 11 to 12 watts. That's just kind of the basics of science and somehow it hadn't clicked with me. So thank you to the forum members, I will be linking those in. So I've got a nice big, I, didn't, I couldn't find an 18K but I went a little higher, it's a 22.5K 25 watt resistor. Also, there was a couple other problems. My heater wires were fine down to this side, but over here they were really hot, and I couldn't figure out why. I had used some other heaters that were not needed, these pink ones, so I just kind of capped those off and put them out of the way. So, I noticed here actually that those pink wires were wrong. We'll talk about this again in the video a little later. Technically, the blue wires were 150 volts, the pink wires are the 6.3 that I need, so we'll, we'll sort that out and get it right eventually. You'll see here in a few minutes. That was for a 150 volt rail, and since I was about halfway up, they were coming up at 70 volts on the heaters. That was really way overkill. Uh, so that's been now fixed. I've resoldered the same one that now comes into here and feeds off to here. And I also added another thing that most people actually do is do 100 watt resistors to ground for uh, coming off of the heater rails. That's just something to kind of uh, another kind of protection part of that that's all common on newer ones. So that's now added. All in all, all of that's ready to go. So at this point, I am going to yet again connect my <coughs> my multimeter up, and I will try and set this at an angle where you guys can see it, hopefully. Um, I'll check and see if that looks like that's in a position that will be visible. Um, but before I go that far, I'm going to quickly connect this guy to ground. There's my ground. Uh, we're set at AC volts right now, and uh, that's somewhat readable. Okay, so... Hopefully that will be visible. I just realized when I was looking back at the, what we were looking at, I did stand in front of it quite a bit. So I'm getting used to having a camera while I'm doing the work. So from here, uh, I'm going to plug it back in. I've got my Variac down to zero volts. It's off. I'm going to plug in my power cord right here in the back. All right, so power is still off. But we will turn the Variac on and we will ramp it up to about, just start at about 20 volts. And I will check here. We are at 22 volts, sure enough. Okay, so now I will flip the power switch on. Nothing is hopefully smoking. We're going to switch to AC volts and we're going to check our power rail. That's showing negative 70 volts, which seems a bit weird. And that is showing negative 82 volts. And I'm not sure why I'm getting negative. Because um, this should be the positive rail. Similarly here, negative 17. So it's possible I've uh, rewired something else wrong. Um, it should be positive DC voltage, not negative. So we will shut that off. That's not a good sign. Uh, I might have somehow set the... No, we're draining out our caps. All right, so I'll take a ch check now. That's the other thing I didn't, uh, I forgot to mention as well. I, I was noticing that the power was running really hot. Uh, I was only up to 60 watts on the Variac, and it was showing me at 
already four to five hundred volts on my B plus rail. And that, I knew that was also not a good sign. Uh, so taking that to the forums, they basically said, oh, you're using a full wave bridge rectifier, which is designed to work with a, with a non-center tapped direct voltage device. This, on the other hand, because it was, comes from the old Vox 100 uh, CPH, AC100 CPH, had a design for a just a full wave rectifier, non-bridged, uh, and that was the way that was supposed to be wired. So I went in and rewired it uh, here. Uh, so that should then allow you know the input current to come into these diodes, and when it's one direction, it block it, and when it's the other direction, it would block it and keep it from you know being able to send the the um, it only allows the direction to go one way. But this is now making me think that I may have wired those in reverse on accident because the it should be sending positive only through and I'm getting negative only through. So I will have to take a look at that. So we'll take a stop there and we'll uh, try it again. See if I can figure out. I, I'm assuming that's what I did is I reverse wired it. So All right, we're going to try it again. <clears throat> this time... I've reversed that now, and uh, I believe that makes sense now that I realize that I basically have the diodes reversed. So therefore, it was working perfectly, but sending negative voltage only instead of positive. So, I'm going to restore my negative ground clip to ground. Alright, that's hooked up. We are on AC volts again. I'm going to leave it at the same, about 20 volts. We'll double check that. We've got 23 volts. Turn it on. Of course, at 23 volts past the point where the LED is turning on, which is a good sign. Also, if I switch to DC volts now and test the power rail, I'm at 94 positive volts. That's good. Nothing specifically seems to be arcing, sparking, or angry. So we'll let that sit for a second. Watch it. Check. I'm going to check my very end of my power rail here. Also at 92 volts, 91. At the A point, it is 94. So there's a couple volts difference there as it's coming through the circuit. Uh, I will slowly wind up a little bit more and just keep myself connected to this one. So if you can see that, 117 volts, 138 volts. I'm going to also check my um, about 0.6 volts on my heater right now. 0 0.6, 0 0.6, and that's the, oh, that's actually, so that should be AC. Sorry, let's switch it to AC. So I'm getting the right amount here. I'm um, sorry, that's a 11 volts. That's not a good sign. 11 volts. 11 volts is supposed to be 6 volts. We're getting 1.7 volts over here, though. So we'll have to check into that. Why am I getting 11 volts there? We've got 10 at that point, but then when it comes through to here, it immediately downs. Oh, no, that's 11 volts there as well. Or it should be six, so we're gonna have to look into that. I might also have a short somewhere because I'm not getting the full 11 volts to this last. Oh, there it is. Never mind. I just wasn't getting a good connection. All right. So at any rate, we're gonna start keep bringing up our our overall voltage. Sorry if you can hear the thumping. The kids are playing rock band upstairs. My main line here. Oh, let's switch from AC to DC again. It's 160 volts. to about 200 volts and I am up to about 55 or so which is good that means that I am getting the expected voltage I'm about halfway up still not seeing any smoke we're at 60 volts halfway up 250 so let me go back to double check on the AC rail we're at 65 volts okay so that's everything's looking okay there I still need to figure out why the DC heater or the why the AC is seeming so high Oh, I'm getting smoke right now off of a resistor right here. I've got to shut down. All right. It dawned on me what I did there. Um, so I smoked a resistor here, replaced it, and tested it again for a second offline. And I realized, I had noticed and had the forum members help me realize that the pink wires were the ones that are supposed to be connected into the heater. And I had sent half of the pink wires to the preamp and the other half to the power amp stage. But I found out these blue ones are not right. That actually goes to a plus 150 volt rail. And then when I was fixing this, instead of using the right ones, I used the wrong ones. So now I'm going to have to disconnect this again. Then I will clean these guys off and reconnect these two, and that should be it. So I'll get at that, and then when I'm back, we'll give it a try again. <laughs> 